everybody. I'm going to get my computer, uh, my iPad set up so I can see what's going on. Hopefully it'll work. Last week I had a heck of a time getting it to, to work. All right, let me go back and try this. There it is. Hi, Myra. All right. Okay. Hi, Barb. Are you guys ready to play with some glycerin? I don't know why my table is so dark here. Turn this light on. Maybe that'll help a little. That's a little better. A little better. I have had lots of fun playing with the glycerin. I have three cards that I'll share with you that I did tonight. And we're going to do several different ideas. I'm not going to do completed cards because I want you to see the technique. What I will do is finish the cards and post them um, in the next few days. Uh, I want you to see all the different things you can do with glycerin. Um, I have one, two, three different um Three different ideas that I'm going to show tonight so that we can see some different ways to use glycerin. Um, I'll wait a little bit and then I want to get started because, like I said, I've got three ideas. So it's going to take me a while to get through them. That's another reason why I'm not going to make the cards because it would just be way too long. And I know everybody is, you know, ready to relax and to settle down. So... I'll share what I have learned in playing with it with you so that you get some ideas and uh, hopefully it will help you um, with your play with glycerin. Um, I got my glycerin at the local um, food store in their pharmacy sec section. Um, I will tell you it is cheaper to get it at Walmart in their pharmacy section. And you don't need a bigger bottle. This is m way more than I need. Way more. Um, I've used this for three different cards, and I've hardly made a dent in it because you're only doing a drop or two at a time. So don't get a big bottle thinking you need a lot. Get a small bottle because it's going to go forever. But um, I will tell you, I really like the way this blends the ink. Um, I've always struggled with it, even with um, using the blender pen to color bigger images because the markers, they don't, they don't color right. And then the, um, to use the blender pen, there's a real technique to it and you gotta play with it and everything. But I had no trouble at all using it to color images. So I'm really pleased with how it does color the images with it. Uh, hopefully we'll have a few more come in here in a minute and I hope everybody's staying warm. Uh, crazy weather we're having. We're going to be, I think it's 60s this weekend and then down to 30 Monday. <laughs> so it's crazy. Um, I know that they were calling for snow back in Maryland and now they've changed it to rain. So, you know, I think that's good for you guys. Of course, I hope all your snow's melted because if not, it's going to be a mess. Um, but this is crazy weather. You know, it's winter and we have it that way. So, who knows? Um, I posted on my blog today a picture, thank you, Barb, of the house with the siding. So we're coming along. We've had a little couple of bumps. I still got another one to get over, but I'm getting there. Um, it's sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. Um, so we'll see. And I hope tonight the camera doesn't go in and out because I'm looking at my camera. It's not my camera. It's Facebook that's having the issue. So I hope it isn't because I'm seeing it perfectly clear and every once in a while I look up there and it's it's not real clear. So hopefully 
it's not too bad because last week's oh it drove me crazy and I know it probably did you guys too but I don't know what's going on with Facebook um, if it continues I may have to post out in a couple of forums and see what's going on with other people see if they're still having the same things because I know somebody mentioned it um, last week that they thought it was Facebook because there were other um, Facebook lives having the same issue hopefully they've got it solved and it's not tonight because like I said my camera is not doing anything unusual or strange so hi Barbara oh here we go lots of Barbara's Barb Barbara must have been a very popular name about 66 65 years ago or so because every time I turn around there's another Barbara at my workshop on Tuesday there were three Barbara's and they were all at the same table which was even funnier so um, that's you know just a very pop popular name I guess so hopefully um, you know yep I'm seeing it it's doing it it's Facebook cuz my camera is perfectly clear dang it that makes me mad I hope it's not going to be too bad. Um, I will try and remember to go slow because it seems to do better if I go slow. So with that, I'm going to turn the camera around. So give me a minute to do that and I will cover the camera up so you don't get dizzy. All right. I've got to tilt it down and I forgot to keep it closed. <laughs> All right. Before I tighten it up, I'll give it a few minutes and see what it looks like. Ah, oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Slide it over just a little and I'm going to tighten it up. Now it's crooked. Let me see here. There. Now it's still crooked. Nope, there it is. Good. And I think I'm far enough away that it's not going to be too bad. Okay. These two cards were done with the same method of blending the background. It's not easy to see on camera, but there is some difference. Um, as you see, there's a highlighted area in here. Oops. Let me slide this down and see if that works better. I've got to remember where the camera is. Um, so you can see it's a little darker out here, but you can't see the lines unless I made a mistake, you know, and there are some tricks, like I said, I learned. I'll pass on to you. This one is done the same way with a different color. This one was balmy blue oh, I'm going too fast this one was powder pink and tonight I'm going to do it with um, seafoam green I'm trying a green so you can see um, I wanted you to see how it works with different colors so there are those two and then this one is the one that was done with the coloring and look at that flower isn't it pretty and it's so I just love the way it turned out for the coloring you really don't see I mean you see um, it's almost as if it's got dimension to it but there's not those very very obvious lines that you see most of the time when you color with either a blender pen or a marker so we're going to do the blending one, the coloring one, and I found a third one. Hi, Betty Ann, that I'm going to share with you also. So we're going to get started. I need a scrap piece of paper, and I'm using a piece of soft seafoam. You need your soft seafoam ink and I'm putting it with shaded spruce and then you need 
two sponges, one for each. Now I will tell you, I am not going to use the sponges that I use when I sponge the edges of cards. You're putting glycerin on this and I don't know if it will affect your stamp pad. So my suggestion is to buy some sponges, label them, you know, put a little holder on it to label it, and then set it aside. I went to Walmart and bought these Ziploc extra small square containers and there's eight of them in here. And what I am doing is I am storing, oh, I am storing all, say all my blues in here together. And I will know that these are for my um, glycerin. And these are easy to store. So let's get started. All right, you need a block. You need some glycerin and you need your stamp pad. What you want to do is you want to start with like two drops of glycerin and I mean drops. I just turned it upside down and let it come out on its own. I did not push on that at all so I just let it drop out on its own. Then you're going to take your soft seafoam pad and you're going to add some ink on the other end of your block. Then you want to take your sponge and it's nice to have a little hand um, little holder on it because then you don't get ink all over your hands. First thing you want to do is you want to work that glycerin, if it's a new one, if you've got glycerin on it, it doesn't take as much, but you want to work that glycerin into the sponge and then you're going to go in and you're going to get some ink and smear it around and then you're going to go to your paper and you're just going to start blending it down and around. Then you're going to go back and you're going to pick up some more ink. Um, it goes quite a ways and if you notice I'm avoiding the center um, that's the beauty of this. You can blend this really well. It goes quite quite the distance. Now that's darker. Um, if you need more, and this might happen, if you need more glycerin, add another two drops. Once you get um, the glycerin, your sponge soaked up with the glycerin, you don't need as much. So you could start, probably use one drop. All right, now I'm gonna go back in and add some more. And you can see it moves that ink around really well. I mean, I'm really impressed with how it does it. And again, I'm avoiding the center so that I get that highlighted area. Whoops. Okay. Once you get your um, light green on, then you want to take, uh, I'm not going to clean off the glycerin because there's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to clean off my light color and I'm going to add my dark color. So I'm dampening it on there. This one's going to be, probably have more ink on there than I need for this one. And I'm going to add some more glycerin. Because again, this is a new sponge. I haven't used it for um, glycerin at all. And I'm going to soak it in, spread it around, soak it in. And then I'm going to pull my ink down. And then I'm going to start in and I'm gonna go down and around and see how much further this one goes. And you just keep moving it and you get rid of any marks that you may have. See, this one went a lot further. All right, 
going to go back. I'm not going to get too much ink. And I'm not going all the way into the center because I want the darker color um, to be on the outside to highlight. That one side is still lighter. So I'm going to add some more. There we go. Now it's better. And see, so you just have to, you keep moving it until you get it to the point where you're happy. All right? And then, and I'm going to take another block for this one because I'll be using it again. I'm going to be coming back to blend that even more, and I'm going to be using Smoky Slate. So I'm going to add some Smoky Slate to this block because I did use Smoky Slate earlier. This one has some um, glycerin already on the sponge, so I won't need as much. And you can tell the sponge starts to, and then I'm just going to go over top of the whole thing. And it kind of tones it down a little, as well as helps to blend. So you get, you know, a nice even blend. And see, there's a spot there, and if I just keep rubbing it, I get it. I'm going to rub this one some, spread that ink around. I will tell you my thought for this one is to use the Lovely as a Tree stamp on here. I'm going to try and make this one a masculine card. Okay, there you go. All done. Not hard at all. And what you do is you do this first and set it aside and by the time you're ready to put your card together, it'll be dry. I mean, it's dry already. It's not really smearing or anything because that's the only thing you have to worry about. So there's the first card. All right. Let me get a baby wipe to clean off this, some of these blocks. Um, and I don't really need the blocks anymore, so I'm going to just kind of wipe them so I don't get it all over me because that's what I will do or on my card. And then I'm going to set those aside, I'll clean them up later. And I just washed, you know, rinsed it off with water. It was easy to do. Um, just don't forget to label what ink color you used. So let me get those out of the way. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to do this one. And I do need a block. So I'm going to clean off this little one. Because I think there's still too much. Let's see, can I get the rest of the green off of here? Yeah, I did. This one would be better. All right. What you need for this one is a blender pen. And I'm going to use Garden Green again, which is the one I used on the other card, but then I thought I would do a pink one to see what it looks like. So I'm using Powder Pink and Melon Mambo. So let's see, this is still wet. Wipe it off. All right, I'm going to take my Garden Green and I'm going to put some ink down there. And then I'm going to take my powder pink and put some ink there. And you may have to go back later and add your ink. I just found it easier to put all three on there. It was just faster. And I don't need as much of the memento, so I put that one there. All right. Then I'm going to take my glycerin and I'm going to put two drops again. Now, blender pens do have glycerin in them. Oh, I need my scrap paper to clean. Um, so it can, you know, I'm trying to think which end I used. You know, it's not going to hurt the blender pen, but what you take and do is you take a little bit of glycerin, and I'll do the green first, and then you come down here and you pick up your green, 
And what I like about this is you can get different colors. And look at this. It helps if you have a, um, a blender pen with a, oh, look at my fingers, um, a really good tip. So then I'm going to go back, uh, pick up some more green. And you can vary the shades. You can make it lighter or darker. But look how smoothly that co covers. I just love it. And I'll pull this up here so that you can see. Look at that. It's almost as if you've colored it with um, a Copic marker um, because it's so smooth. You don't see any lines. Now I'm going to do the, um, the leaves, and I think you'll really see it there. And what I did was I just started at the top, and I just went all the way down. And if I needed to, I went back and added more color in spots. I just love the way this turned out. I may never color with blender pens without glycerin again. All right, ladies, there's a bigger image. She is hearing all kinds of noise tonight. So look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so cool, I think. Of course, things like this really give me a, <laughs> really, in, you know, makes me happy. All right, I'm going to clean off my blender pen very carefully. I want to get all of it out since I'm going to a light pink. So you have to clean this like you clean your um, blender pens when you use This is a dark color too. All right, let me let me see what the other end looks like. Maybe I'll switch to the other end. Um, yeah, that's better. It's got some yellow left in there. I would suggest you buy the blender pens. They're not expensive, and designate say this one will always be for greens. It doesn't um, um, doesn't have to be the same green. This say say this side is always for yellow. So use your blender pens that way, and that's what I think I'm going to do because then I don't have to worry about it. And I'll store it with my um, with my containers. All right, now we're going to see. And I don't know if the pink is going to show lines or not because, again, I'm just no, it doesn't. It blends very well. Um, I'm just playing with the pink. I just, I figured I'd done the other colors and it worked out. So I would show you some newer col different colors so you can see. I think the glycerin makes it a little darker too. All right. So there's one. I'm going to really pick up a lot. I hope I didn't bring out a yellow for my thing in the center. I'll have to do that before I do my card. And I just think it really lets that ink, lets you move that ink around. She has been barking a lot lately. I don't know why. Maybe she's saying she's had enough of the apartment too. It's a strong possibility. Get this area down here so I don't forget it. And just go back and color it in. And I, with my flower, I go in the direction of the petal so that it does give you... Um, it gives you some dimension to the flower because it's going the same direction, which I was never really able to achieve using the blender pen and the ink in the lid. Um, 
and I was pretty good at it. All right. I can't get over top of it, so I hope I'm not missing any areas. All right, we've got one petal left, and then I'm going to add my accents. And we'll have one more idea to share with you. The lighter colors um, are a little bit more challenging, but it didn't turn out too bad. So you can see, you know, you really don't see a lot of the lines. All right, let me clean this off a little bit. And now we're going to go back and I'll show you how I did the... Um, The lines from the center. So I'm going to use some of the Melon Mambo and I'm going out from the center with flicking type moves. I'm going up a little higher on this one. And then I pick up some more glycerin and I'm trying to spread, I don't know if you can see, but I'm trying to spread that pink out as much as possible. And then I'm going to flick up, and I'm going to go up further out. All right, time to get some more. We are almost done with this card, or this technique, I should say. So, I've shown you how to um, make a background. This one is how to color. You just have to be careful when you get close to that. Is that the stamen? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't remember. Flick it out. And one more. I think the glycerin helps to... Um... Oh, that is so pretty. What do you think, Myra? You're a pink person. Let me clean this up a little bit and then I'll show you up close. All right, that's not too bad. All right, there you go. What do you think? I love it also. I'm just, I just love coloring this way now. And I'm, I was a colorer before, and this has really done it for me. Okay, I gotta get another um, baby wipe. That's the thing, you need a baby wipe or some kind of towel if you're gonna do more than one card. And I'm gonna show you the last one. Oh, I took the glycerin. Oh, well. Believe me, I don't think I have to worry. <laughs> like I said, you need a little piece. All right. I'll wipe this off. Another reason I craft in old clothes. I can wipe it off on my pants. All right. I saw this one, and I have to do this one for you today, ladies. You didn't see. You can't. You, it's hard to see with this. But this is actually embossed. Can you see it there? It's the winter woods, and I've embossed the trees on there. And I use clear embossing powder. All right, and then what I'm going to take and do is I'm going to use crumb cake. All right. And I'm going to have to clean it in between. And I'm going to do my um, ground. Now this is a new sponge. So remember, two dots, really work it in. And then I'm going to pull in my ink. All right. And I'm going to add my ground. And I'm going to go up a little higher than the trees. 
I'm going to go back and swirl it to get rid of those lines. All right. So I have that. All right. Let me clean this off. And the next one I won't have to clean because I'm using two blues. I'm going to take pool party. Yeah, it would, Myra. Um, it's, um, it's, it's any kind of background, and that's this one I wanted to show you how you could do a scene. Um, and I'm going to pull out. Now, I haven't used it, but I'm going to pull out my pool party and my night of navy. But see, I used my balmy blue and blueberry bushel and I just kept them in here and I'll put those in here because I just know that these are all for glycerin. All right, I want my pool party one next and I'm going to put some ink in here and I'm going to go all the way down with this and blend it in. Now I'm going to pick up some more. And this also goes, um, I'll show you in a bit, but it also goes way down. Um, it gets in between all the branches, which isn't always the easiest thing to do with these trees. All right, I've got that end to do, and I've got a little bit of ink left. As you can see, it's... I'm more concerned with my ink at the bottom, but you can you can blend it and mix it around, and I mean it. The ink goes a long way. All right. Now, can you see how it's in between all those branches? Thanks, Linda. But see how the ink is in between all those branches? Snowy, it's snowing in Virginia? Oh my goodness. You guys have had a lot of snow. All right. Now I'm going to take my Knight of Navy. I'm going to add this on the top. Oh, way too much, way too much. <laughs> I'm going to add some more glycerin because remember, this is a new sponge, so I need to really soak that glycerin in the sponge. Don't you love this? I love getting inky. Of course, then I walk around for days with green hands because it doesn't come off. All right, now, for this one, I'm gonna go over top and I'm not going all the way down. All right. I wanna get my color on. And then I'm going to go back and add some. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, turn this around. All right, I'm going to grab some more blue. And I'm going to focus on the top. I want that top really dark. Ah, there we go. Now it's getting darker. So it's almost as if it's nighttime. Don't forget to go down in your trees. Oh, I thought I would have too much blue, but as it works out, I've used it. All right, let me really blend it in. Let me see. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, I don't... It, not much comes off because it doesn't really stick to the embossing. Uh, 
yes, you can stamp on it. You can put like a sentiment down here. Um, Betty Ann. So there's what that is. So isn't that gorgeous? But I love the 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 way the sky comes all the way down to the ground and that hint of pool party shows through. Um, yeah, I'm going to be blending with with um, glycerin and coloring with glycerin, glycerin from now on. Yeah, I love this. And Barb, you just got this stamp set, so you'll be trying this. All right, so isn't that's just gorgeous. Just know you've got to have a piece of paper because it gets really, really messy. And so do your hands. But now remember, this just washes right off. Um, eh, show your inky fingers. That's all right. Don't forget to put, to get a little container. I have to label these because I don't have a label on it. And the blueberry bushel is down in there. And, you know, oh, that's the gray. I don't want that one. So I'm putting like, I got four in here, four blues. So, you know, I've got my two pink that I used earlier here. So I will add, I did, I did two pink tonight. No, I didn't. I colored with it. So I'll pull out another one for my green because I have two greens I used tonight. And then I will probably put like my smoky slate and my crumb cake in one. And then these are just easy. Um, hi, Terry. No, Linda, it doesn't make the paper feel oily. Um, and it dries. There's my clean hands. See? It's not coming off. Um, I think the reason it doesn't is most of the glycerin goes into your sponge, which helps to spread it around. Um, when you go back and watch, you can kind of see when I did this one how it was kind of laying there, but then you spread it around. Um, it was just so much fun. So there's the ones we did tonight. Um, this one I know I'm going to use... Um, Lovely is a tree on. This one I'm probably going to put a sentiment and just make it a simple card. Um, I may add some ribbon. And then this one, which is very the same as this but a different color. I did this one as a birthday card. And I had my sentiment stamped up there and I stamped it crooked. So I just said, oh, <laughs> just make another one and put it on top. Um, so I'll do something with that, I just won't make it a birthday card. This one, I think, from the ones, the first ones I did was my favorite. Oh, I love this. Um, what I did was I um, did the background technique and I used the smoky slate around the edges. And it got kind of dark there with the smoky slate, but I think it looks great. And then I used colorful seasons um, framelits. It, that's I think that's the stamp set. I don't remember what the thinlets are called. And I cut them out of shimmery white paper. And then I used, I think I used the, yes, I used the blender pen that had glycerin on it and colored in the centers. <clears throat> Excuse me for that one. And then this one was balmy blue and blueberry bushel around the edges. And this is from Colorful Seasons also. So great, um, great winter card. This would look really cute with the, um, the, the snowflake set, uh, set that retired, that spray across it. Oh my God, that would have been gorgeous on here. This one you're focusing, this is called spotlighting, where you give it the center. This one is just sponging on color, and this one is coloring with a blender pen. So three different ways you can use glycerin, and there are probably more out there that I haven't found yet, so I will be looking for some other ideas. All right, okay, give me a minute to flip this around. Okay, ladies. It went faster than I thought it would. I probably could have put one card together, but that takes a while. Um, 
If you try any of it, guys, please share your cards with us. I love getting ideas. Um, yeah, Betty and I am too. Uh, I love getting ideas. I, I, I'm constantly looking for ideas and I know a lot of times with a lot of my cards that I put together, I see an idea here, an idea here, an idea over here, and I put them all together and make my own card. So it's great to have, I hate the glare on these glasses, I have to remember to keep my head down. Um, I love using my, um, the ideas that I get from other people to make cards. I mean, you can only create the, you know, get so many ideas. So here's a great way to get lots of ideas. So if you try it, make sure you share it. Um, that's because we all want to see it. Uh, apparently a lot of people couldn't be in tonight. Uh, they must have had things going on because usually I have more than four in here and I even have a couple of new people. So I hope everybody has a great week. Cross your fingers for the other issue that I'm dealing with on the house that it's not going to be a problem. There's nothing I can do about it, but I need to talk to the builder and say, um, what are we going to do? How, how's this going to affect everything? So hopefully it will all work out like it has. Oh, sorry, Linda, about having to go to the funeral. Glad you made it, though. All right, ladies, I'm going to say good night because i got to take Bijou out. Um, she's sitting in the chair looking at me like, Mom, it's time. Come on, let's go. So thank you so much for coming in, and I will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend, guys. Stay warm if it snows. Bye.